Users of Drum Kit from Hell Superior should be able to appreciate what it is I'm about to show you. In the last video, we went ahead and talked about the standard view here on the construction page, and now I want to go ahead and shift gears just a little bit and show you the classic view. Okay, now in order to get to the classic view, all you have to do is click on the little tab right there, and boom, there you go. You're going to be greeted with what is referred to as super pads, okay? This is basically just a representation of the kit pieces. And like I said, it's going to be something that the old school users from Drum Kit from Hell Superior are going to be used to seeing because this is what we used to have, okay? Now, you can still do everything here in the classic view that you could in the standard view. For example, you can choose your kit pieces simply by clicking on the little down arrow right there. And then let's say I want to change my snare up. We'll come on down and just grab this Near Z Custom, so forth and so on. You can do anything that you want the same way that you could in the standard view, okay? Now, there are a couple of benefits to being in the classic view versus the standard view. For example, in the standard view, if you want to hear something, you just click on it, right? But there's no type of velocity or anything. What you have in classic view is you do have velocity sensitive super pads here. Depending upon where you click, how low or how high you are, a different velocity will be triggered. For example, let me show you. The lower I hit, it's really soft. And the higher, it's hard, okay? And you have, of course, all the levels in between. And it is like that for all of the pads. See that there? Pretty nifty, huh? So that's one advantage. Now, another advantage I want to show you is that you have the solo and mute buttons right at your fingertips versus having a thumb through with the easy mixer down here, which is cool, but... You know, whenever I'm personally in the middle of writing a song or something and I want to start, you know, trying out different kit pieces, I don't want to have to solo everything out and go into the mixer and do this and do that. I'd rather just be able to do, you know, this. Let me show you. I'm going to press play. And now, see, I can solo the snare drum. And let's go ahead and start messing around here. Let's see here. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so now... How does the kick drum fit with that particular snare? Well, you know, that's all we have to do is just click on solo and then start dragging everything down, and it's cool. You see that there? Right. Awesome, huh? I love that about the classic view. Okay, it gives me the ability to go ahead and change things on the fly as I'm soloing them to see how they correspond and fit with the other pieces, okay? Now there are a couple of other things I want to go ahead and show you. For example, in the standard view, these transparent pieces represent pieces that are available, however, are not being used at that moment, okay? And you have the same type of thing in classic view. For example, right here, you'll see the kick drum is highlighted in blue, okay? But if I were to put nothing there, the blue is not there, indicating there's no kit piece loaded up. Now there is. You see that there? Okay. Now right over here on Rack Tom 3, let me go ahead and grab this 14 inch, and there we go. Over here on ride four, let's go ahead and grab a dry rod, and there you go. Right here, we can go ahead and do the Sabian dry rod. Right here, we'll go ahead and do a hand hammered raw dry rod, and right down here, let's go ahead and just grab a, uh, go ahead and grab an 18 inch china. But those are the main differences between the classic and standard views. You still have access to all of the parameters here on the right, which I'm about to cover, and down here on the bottom as well. But it's all a matter of what makes you most productive and what you like the most, okay? So do whatever works best for you. Now in the next video, I'm going to start talking about some of these parameters in the construction window. So I want you to stick around. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.